is coming. Junior is coming before you today. What's wrong with our city? Amen, Flint, Michigan. I want to tell you how we're going to correct it for sure. Obedience. Deuteronomy. 28, 1 through 14. All right. Pastor Archie Powell, Jr. First of all, there's nothing wrong with our city. It's what's wrong with us. The problem is not in the city because Flint is the same. It always has been. The problem with us, we need to turn to Ezekiel. Talking about dry bones. You go back and tell CNN News, we may be dry, but we ain't dead. You go back and tell them that. Our biggest problem, the most precious resources that we got in the city of Flint, we are waging, call our youth. Young people need to let them know they can be somebody if they want to be somebody. All we got to do is stand up and hold their hand. But then when I sit and think about it, the scripture said, can any good come out of Nazareth? Yes, I can. Let them know that this city is on its way back. And if the governor was here, I would tell him, we don't need no emergency manager. We got the Holy Ghost. We don't need no, as long as you got the Holy Ghost, you can dance out. It tells you what to do. Only reason we ain't doing it because we don't want to listen to the Holy Ghost. We got to come and let folks know who we is, what we is, and where we're going. We say they're talking about what's wrong with Flint. Ask your what's wrong with me? I've been saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. Ain't nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? It bothers me when we go to our school, our children will turn them down and we say, that's all right. Ain't no child got the right to take your schools down. Ain't no child got no business walking around his parents around his ankle telling him to pull him up and shut him. For young folks, they say he don't know what he's talking. I was young, but now I'm old. I understand that. I tell folks all the time, nothing wrong with Flint. We need to get on the mark. We need to leave those security doors by the high street corner and tell people you must be born again. It's time up. We need to take the blindfold off. Got little Junior bring you some money for selling crack. Tell him you know a rock that don't even want to save him. Tell him you know the rocks of Asia. Tell them you need to save him. We're in the right place at the right time in front of the city jail to raise a whole lot of hell about what's going on. Quit blaming the mayor. Quit blaming the governor. Get off your dump and get to the streets. If you understand what dump is, it's what you sit down on. You must be born again. And we get everybody say you can put your 357 away and pick up your 66. We need to get back. And stand up and declare, I'm 67. Let them know. You the child, I'm the man, and I got the plan. If you're scared to tell your children what to do, call them long distance. Because they can't reach you. Tell them they must be, got to be, born again. And we can fill up, you or them, and can't fill up the church on Sunday. Something wrong with that program. They can go out and chill, go, go flu, while they can say, go Jesus too. Nothing wrong with Ruth, but I serve Jesus because he's true. We need to get up. Mount up. It shouldn't be prayer change just one day in September. Every time you get up, you just fall down on your knee and tell God, thank you. I'm looking for a miracle. When I woke up, all I had to do was look in the mirror. I'm a miracle. He woke me, started me. There's, a, there's 148 churches and you ain't got one, something wrong with you. It's just like women's dressing, one size fit all. I can't have girls, you got a 16 and you should have been a 20. You should come while you get some real religion, some real crucifixion. All these 
killings in Flint. All these killings, robbers, murders, and muggings. Even shooting in the church. And then you say, we saved and sanctified. We ain't saved and we ain't even satisfied anymore. You don't have to like me because I'll be on 704 Fleming Road on circuit. You don't have to like me. But I'm going to tell you like it is until we take Flint back. You don't have to call the police. When I did something, my mama dad not to call the police. She called the strap. <laughs> I'm going to call 911. When I got the 9, that one would be on me. I dare you to go back to book say, spare the riders for all the child. In the Bible, told me, you mean church that you're a bastard. That's what the Bible called you. Can't nobody tell me now. That's why we're in a condition we. We've been in more prisons than we as churches. And then they got the audacity. Y'all got too many churches in Flint. And every corner got a lottery line and whiskey. So don't tell me that garbage. When folks get saved, somebody said, Well, I'm a Baptist. I'm a saved, sanctified Baptist, satisfied with the God I got, too. I'm not worried about your domination. I'm worried about your relations. I'm worried about what kind of relations you got with God. I know some of y'all say, he's crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. Because I serve a God that I don't see, but a God I feel. I'm crazy. And I go back, sit down. We don't need no more killings. Amen. But one dying saved us all, and we got to kill somebody trying to get saved. Jesus died on the cross that you and I might have a right to the tree of life. We got to have that right. We can jump on singing and run away from preaching. I'm Pastor Pamela Lockhart from Passion of Jesus Ministries Church and Outreach Center. And we're representing Jesus Christ. We're representing our Father. We're trying to do what Jesus, like Jesus did when he walked the earth and he fed the 5,000, uh, two fish and five loaves of bread. How it multiplies. So we're trying to feed them physically and then feed them spiritually so they can see the goodness of the Lord and that his miracles are yet going through every day. Amen. Bishop Bernard Del Jefferson, representing Faith Deliverance Center, located at 2814 Lewis Street on the east side of town. And we just come sharing the word of God, sharing yes. faith, sharing love, sharing hope. Because many people think hope has been lost, but I yes. want to let you know hope is not lost because God still got angels and service around here spreading hope, spreading joy. Yes. Not only with our lip service, but with our hand service, spreading out, helping somebody. Not a hand out but a hand up so yes. we come to share with you love hope and peace because together, together we stand hallelujah. hallelujah one more question for you ladies what would you say to convince uh, a congregation to get involved next year that's not involved now the more that we stand together together we stand and divided we fall we he said if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face Call by his name, come together. We need to come together from every walk, every denomination, every yes. faith. Because there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. It don't make no difference who you're called by. It needs to be that we're called together. Together we stand. Amen. And that's prayer chain day. If we would just unite and cling and stand together all the way through the city like we're supposed to do and pray. And as she said, seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways, then God will hear from heaven, oh, yeah. and he'll heal our land, and he'll forgive our sins, and all the violence can stop, but it's up to us, so that's what you need to do, is to come together and pray, and especially next year, we need to make this train stronger. October the 4th, we look for you. Amen. 19, I mean, 2014, yes. we come together, together we stand, we're going to stand together, we take him back. What the enemy is taking away from me. We We're taking it win. back together. We win. Together we win. We win. Please hang with us for a few more minutes. I present to you Priscilla Pearson Peterson. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. We love you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the 
Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. What a wonderful day this is for the great city of Flint. Let us pray for men and women everywhere. Let us pray for our president, our governors, our lawmakers, our mayors, our councilmen, and their chambers. Let's pray for men and women in authority everywhere. Asking God to crown their heads with wisdom and knowledge and teach them how to go in and out among his great people. Mothers, 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 there's far too many of us crying. Brothers, 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 there's far too many of us dying. Why? Because someone dropped the baton. Why? Because of instead of being parents at home, we're trying to be our children's friends instead of our children's parents. It's time for parents to get back into the home. Why? Because when we were growing up, we were made to go to church. Now it's up to them if they want to go to church. Now, a lot of times, the only time a lot of them see the inside of the church is when they're at a funeral. We cry and we sing, God bless America. But now it's time for America to bless God. It's time for America to bless God. We want God to bless Flint, Michigan. But Flint, Michigan, I say, it's time for us to bless God. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, not with knives and guns, but the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds in the name of Jesus. Luke 14 and 22 says, Go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in and that my house may be filled. So on this day, I decree and I declare that souls will be saved in Flint, Michigan. So on this day, I decree and I declare that bodies will be healed in Flint, Michigan. On this day, I decree and I declare addictions will be broken on this day. On this day, I decree and I declare that families will be restored on this day. I decree and I declare on this day the murdering spirit will be broken in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare our city will be restored in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that jobs will be plenteous in our city in the name of Jesus. I decree